Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dheeraj Chaudhary and today we are going to learn about DeepSeek R1, an AI that can teach itself to reason using reinforcement learning. It's really a game changer in AI research and I will break it down for you in a simple way. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. So without wasting much time, let's start building. So guys, we are back on the screen. So let's go ahead and understand what is DeepSeek R1. So DeepSeek R1 is nothing but it's a powerful AI model designed to think reason better than previous models it had. So unlike traditional AI models that we have, which learns from human created examples like supervised learning, DeepSeek R1 is different. It teaches itself using reinforcement learning. This means it can improve its own problem solving skills over time, making it more intelligent, adaptable and capable of tackling complex tasks. Plus, the best part is it is open source, so researchers and developers can use and improve it freely. This is the official uh, page of DeepSeek R1, where you can get all the details of DeepSeek in regards to its benchmarks, as well as the models available. If you go to Olama over here also, you can see the models which are available. So let's jump back to our screen and let's understand what is DeepSeek R1. So DeepSeek R1 learns reasoning skills just like humans do. So we as a human, we learn by doing trial and error, the same way DeepSeq R1 does. So it starts as a DeepSeq R1 0, which, is no pre uh, which has no pre-trained knowledge and it trained itself purely using reinforcement learning. And later, a refined version of DeepSeq R1 is created using a small set of hand-picked data to improve its accuracy and readability. So this allows the AI to develop that aha moment where it gives out a better ways to solve problem on its own means self-capable and it outperforms the open AI 01, 1217 in the reasoning task and is available as open source project with various models ranging from 1.5 billion parameters to 671 billion parameters. So let's understand the key innovations that this DeepSeq model brings in. So DeepSeq model uses reinforcement learning to boost reasoning avoid the need for initial supervised learning, as I said here before. So the model evolves on its own, achieving the aha moment for better reasoning. So before applying RL, it uses cold start data to enhance performance by improving readability and stability. Additionally, the large models are distilled into smaller version, making them more efficient while retaining high performance. A diagram likely illustrates the reinforcement learning process uh, where you see this is the reinforcement learning process where a person goes, he does, does the mistake and it learns from his mistake and it does the task again with a better performance. So this diagram depicts that how the reinforcement learning works. So let me go ahead and show you the distilled model that we have available. So these are the different different distilled models that I was talking about. And now let's see after key innovations what we have. So we are going to talk about the performance benchmarks now. And we are going to uh, uh, compare DeepSeq R1 versus OpenAI O1. So in this, we have uh, different different uh, performance and key benchmark scores where we have AIME, that is, uh, it is 79.8%, Math 500, and Code Force, that is 96.3%, which is better than OpenAI O1. But you might be confused that what exactly this uh, performance benchmarks are. You know, you won't understand if you are not from the machine learning background. So make I, let me make it simple for you. So AIME is an artificial intelligence model evaluation. So it's a benchmark used to evaluate the performance of AI model in reasoning and problem solving tasks. So it's designed to test the ability of model to handle complex scenarios and achieve high accuracy in reasoning. And if you see the benchmarks are being mentioned over here in different, different ways, like for coding, for math, for English as well as uh, for different language like Chinese. And these are the distilled model evaluations available over here. So these are the distilled model that I was showing you some time back over here. So these are the distilled model that we just spoke about. Now, moving back to a math uh, uh, to uh, math 500. So math 500 is a benchmark specific specifically designed to test a model's mathematical reasoning capability. So it consists of 500 challenging uh, math problem that test various areas of mathematics and the Pass at rate 1 score indicates the percentage of the problems the model has solved correctly in its first attempt. That's how this scores impact. Now, let's talk about the last 
one that is the code forces so code forces is a competitive programming platform where programmers solve algor- algorithmic challenges so it has a ranking system based on performance in contest so the code force benchmarks mentioned here refers to the ranking uh, or the percentile achieved by deepseek r1 when solving uh, programming problems on this platform that is code forces so these are the benchmarks that i have put forward in a simple way let's go ahead and understand it from the uh, in a, a graphical format so over here we have deep sea carbon and open ai 011217 that we just spoke about in our previous slide and we also have deep sea r1 32 billion uh, the big uh, with the 32 billion parameter and the open ai mini and the deep sea v3 so here are the performance benchmarks for aime code forces math uh, mmlu swe i can explain you mml also in detail but it will be a long video so i will skip that for now but over here you can see that the blue ones the deep sea r1 it is actually ranking in all of them ahead or very near to open ai and that is also a open source model so this is how uh, it impacts and it has make made that availability of the model that can be open sourced downloaded and it can be researched further upon so let's go ahead and see what's the next step so now we are going to start building our user interface where we are going to build our chatbot locally so our first step for hosting our chatbot locally would be to install olama for doing that what i will do is i will go to google search i will search for olama once i search for olama it will give me this page and you have to click on olama and you will come over here you have to click on download it will ask for your email address give your email address and click on download so once you click on download it is going to go ahead and install a olama setup.exe file for you once you install that file it is then you double click on that file and this is the next pop up that you will get then you go ahead and click on install and your olama will be installed on your local machine so the second step is going to be now we are going to go ahead and install our llm model so for doing that what we have to do is we have to go on google search and we have to search for olama deep seek r1 once you click on olama deep seek r1 it will take you to this page where you have to select deep seek r1 over here you can see the various models are available i will click on the drop down to show you how many models we have so these are the models available as part of this tutorial we are going to install three models 1.5 7b and 8b so in this current video let's go ahead and click on 1b once you click on 1b it is going to go ahead and give you olama run deep seek 1.5 you have to copy this once you copy go ahead and open your command prompt so once you open your command prompt you have to go ahead and paste this command over there and hit on run it will take some amount of time uh, for it to go ahead and download it as it is 1.5 a 1.5 uh, uh, parameter it is uh, it is just 1.1 gb so it's not going to take much of the time but as we gradually move ahead with 7. Point, uh, with 7 billion parameters it is going to take some time so just relax till the time it downloads and once it is downloaded we are going to perform the further step so guys as you can see our model for 1.5 billion parameters is installed successfully now i will just go ahead and hit uh, and type hi it is going to give me back the response this shows that my model is installed successfully so guys now we will go ahead and install our second model which is with 7 billion parameters so for that what i will do we will go back to the same uh, olama website and over here the way we selected 1.5 now we have to select 7b once you select this command is going to change so i will go ahead and select on 7b once i select on 7b uh, this is the command which comes in copy this command and go to the cmd prompt and paste it over here and your download for the 7 billion parameter will start let me click on enter our uh, 7 billion parameter model has been installed successfully so now what we can do is we can go ahead and we can again a test by sending a command hi so guys it's time for us now to go ahead and install the third model that is with the 8 billion parameter so for doing that what we have to do is we have to again go back to the olama website and i am going to change from 7b to 8b it is going to change the 
command for me. So what I have to do is I will just copy this command and I will go in the command prompt and paste it. So as I have after pasting this command, you can see that the download has started as it is a biggest parameter that I have downloaded as part of this video. It is going to take some time so you can relax and give it time to get downloaded. So guys, you can see here our uh, download for this specific model is also completed. So let's go ahead and uh, hit a message hi and to see uh, if it is installed successfully. So guys, now another important step. So whatever models we have installed, we are now going to go ahead and use those models for our chatbot. So for creating the chatbot interface, we are not going to create any code. So we are just going to go ahead and install open web UI. What is open web UI? So go to Google search and search for open web UI. Once you go, you will see this link. Just uh, don't open the website. Instead of that, go to the GitHub page and open it. So this is an open source project where you can. Uh, this is a user interface which helps you to uh, use the models that you have installed from Olama and you can use it as a chatbot. And the best functionality I see over here is you can also perform the web search guys and this runs locally without any internet connection. That's the beauty of this specific tool. Over here it says that open web UI is an extent extensible, feature rich and user friendly self hosted AI platform designed to operate entirely offline. It supports LLM runners like Olama and open AI compatible APIs. So LLM runners we are going to use which is Olama. So whatever models we have installed when you go ahead and click over here. Uh, on this drop down, it is going to give us the list of all the models and we are going to test it one by one accordingly. So this is the thing that we are going to use. Now, installing this is super easy. What you have to do is just scroll down. There are two commands. The first command over here is pip install web UI. That's what we have to do. Copy this. Uh, let's go ahead uh, and open the command prompt. Let's paste it. Once you paste it, it is going to install. So it is going to take some time for you to install it again, like the models, because it installs a lot of things as part of the installation. So give it some time. Once it's installed, then we will go ahead and see how we will start this open web UI and how we can start hosting our chatbot locally. So once our open web UI installation is completed successfully, we have to run the next command that is open web UI serve. So once you click on open web UI serve, it will go ahead and start your server. It will take some time, but it will start. So it's loading at the current moment for me. Okay. Yes. So the initiation has started. Now over here, it will give a message. Once it is started fetching the files and yes. So the server is up and running and it is running on the port 8080. So when it says HTTP colon uh, double slash colon double slash 0 0.0, 0 instead of this use localhost colon 8080. Now let me go ahead and run localhost colon 8080. And here we are. This is the sign up that you have to do by going on their website. Otherwise it will not allow you to sign in. So for doing that, what you can do is go over here, click on open web UI. This is their website. Once you go on their website, click on sign in and click on create one. Once you create one, you can go ahead and give your name over here and your email address and you can create your own password. Okay, so I have done that. So guys, once you log in successfully, you will see this specific interface where this is the chatbot. So that is hosted locally. So once we are, you are logged in successfully after doing the registration with open web UI, you will land up on this page. So whenever you go ahead uh, on the CMD prompt and you log in by running the command that is serve. So when I clicked on the command, it opened the port that is 8080 and the server started running. So once it starts running, uh, you will have to log in. And once you log in, it will go ahead and bring you to this page. Now, what exactly you can do over here is this is the entire chatbot interface. The account that you have logged in with is here and over here you can what you can do is you can create your uh, the, whatever chats you create locally you can save that chats too. So in right now in front of you I installed three models that is DeepSeek R1 one point, with 1.5 billion parameters with 7 billion parameters and 8 billion parameters. I just installed it. I have not done any setting here 
and if i click on the drop down you can see all my models are available over here i can select any model and i can directly go ahead and start working on to it so this is how you can host your models locally and models locally with olama so it has good integration with olama you don't have to do any separate changes go ahead install it it will automatically connect to olama and it will bring back the servers uh, the models that is already installed over here and uh, once the models are installed you can select your models and you can start typing you also have a, a option over here if you click on plus you can capture the photos as well as you can also upload the files over here along with that it also gives you a lot of different settings options so if i click on this and if i click on settings you can see it has so many options where you can configure multiple things in terms of admin settings as well as in terms of your uh, dark theme white theme light theme whatever you want and you can create your own workspace also so for example you can create one workspace for your python work one workspace for your ai work one workspace for your machine learning work and you can segregate or you can uh, take care of the chats that you have already used into that so it's it is very powerful and whatever chats you create it will be available over here so you can just click on plus uh, over here create folders and put that in workspace and that is how you can go ahead and host your so thank you for watching the video guys i hope you learned something valuable today and found this session insightful let me know in comments what excites you most about ai that can reason on its own so let's discuss in the comments below bye for now